Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel to a brand new video. I hope you're all having a great start to the week. It's Monday morning real time as I sit filming this video for you guys and I'm not joking yet, it's so humid, overcast and humid. Let's start off the video with a weather report. <laughs> but um, that's why I've just stuck my hair on top of my head because it won't do anything. It's like really static and fly away today. There's something in the air, not sure. So excuse the way I look. Also, we've got a new backdrop, another new backdrop. So I thought I would sit here in front of the fire. I've got a candle burning. I have been putting off this video because I've been waiting for a couple more items I really wanted to include in this video. I really wanted to show them to you. They are the items from this haul that I was the most excited about. It's ironic, isn't it? Anyway, I ordered them from Shein Home and ordered them to my wrong address, my old address. And then I had to track and divert the parcel, which then delays it another 48 hours. And they're just not arriving in time. So we're just going to get on with this huge haul anyway. And I'm going to include those items in probably an upcoming vlog. Not to worry though, because we have got loads to be getting on with in this video. So I just wanted to quickly say these things I've been picking up in the last weeks and months from various different stores, which is why I thought I'll do a collective interior haul from all different shops in just one video. Because like I say a lot on my shop with me and haul videos, I don't really buy enough from one shop really to do a full like haul video do you know what I mean I buy the odd thing from the odd shop usually and I'll show you them as I go along in the vlogs however we've been putting everything in this storage room that we've got in the house but yeah now is a good time to show you what we've got here because it's time to organize all this stuff into the house so there's no order to what comes first I'm just going to grab whatever is in front of me and we'll get through it that way so everything's just a little bit dusty, of course. Um, but yeah, I picked up these new wine glasses from Georgia Asda and it's a really good job that I did, right? Because we've just unboxed all the old like glassware from our old kitchen. We brought them out, unboxed them downstairs and there's been a few casualties, a few broken wine glasses. And I said to Hubby, it's a good job. We bought some more then, isn't it? Cause we would have had two anyway. So these are a two pack and I think they were about six or seven pound each for two. And I've also got a little obsession with the fluted glass. So these are the fluted glass versions. And I love how like square they are here. You know, like, I don't know, not square. I don't know what I mean by that. They're just like flat underneath. I just love the look of them. I do love a rosé wine. So how gorgeous are they gonna look with the rosé color inside of them? So I picked up four and I think they'll look great on the tablescape downstairs. <laughs> I'm gonna need to put them in the dishwasher. So the next thing I picked up are these plates from Dunelm. Let me just pop them down because they're heavy carrying all four of them. I picked up four of these irregular plates from Dunelm and they are the Amalfi collection. So they're like an off-white, like I said, they're quite irregular and I just love the way they're not like a straight circle. So big massive dinner plates. These are six pound each for the big dinner plates. They also do the pasta bowls as well and like smaller side plates, like they have a full range. You can even buy the full dinner set in a box. I think it's a 16 piece dinner set, not too sure. I'll link it down below anyway, but I just wanted the plates for now because I'm not into buying full sets anymore. I just want to have different kind of layers on the table. You'll see when we do some tablescapes together in some future videos coming up. Um, but yeah, I think these are nice and plain and they're massive. And we did actually need some new dinner plates because um, there's been some casualties in the ones that we have been using throughout this renovation. And to be fair, they were so old anyway. So yeah, I've been looking for some new dinnerware sets. I've actually got a bit of an obsession with like serveware and dinnerware. So I picked up four of these and she wrapped them in all this tissue. Again, I'm going to take them downstairs. Hubby and Joelle's going to have to take off these stickers because I have a sticker phobia. And then we'll put them in the dishwasher. In fact, are they dishwasher safe? 
let's have a quick look a Malfi dinner plate white oh they also did this in like a sage greeny color as well I might even get the pasta bowls that are in the sage green color um dishwasher safe and microwavable so then I picked up these plates as well separately on a separate occasion now these were from home sense tk maxx and they were in the sale section for four pounds each now they're not as small as a side plate you know the smaller version but they're not as big as a big dinner plate either they're like an in-between size so it's perfect for me really because I have a problem with portions <laughs> and um if if I serve big dinner plates like that and I put all the food on the plate and then I'm expected to eat all the food on the plate because I'm no self-control but yeah I love the size of these because while I'm on a diet, it's a smaller plate and I don't put as much food on and it's, it's, I'm able to like portion size basically. But how pretty are these? They're like a scalloped edge and they're like so rustic looking. And I just think it, they give a really nice layered look on top of the like irregular Mal Amalfi collection. Can you see what I mean? Like how nice do them two look layered together? I just think that looks amazing. So again, they were in the sale section, like I said, and they were four pounds each. I got four of those. Like I said, guys, this is such a random haul. The next thing I picked up was the other day, actually, this, how nice is this? This was from the range and I think it was about seven pounds. And it's this gorgeous, like, it's not sage, but it's not a forest green, it's like a shade in between. Oh, it's like an olive green. Yeah, it's like an olive green, but it's got like a lot of goldy beigey tone to it. It's absolutely stunning. The detail is absolutely stunning and it's obviously a leaf. And I just thought this would look absolutely gorgeous in the kitchen, but you know, like putting on like a load of snacks on it and just using it as a dish. But then I've got it home and it says, warning, indoor decorative use place gently blah 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 blah. clean with a soft damp, damp cloth do not use abrasive cleaners on it and do not use for food or contact so it looks like i can't use it after all but it's a great decorative item nonetheless but do you know what this would look good in the bathroom as well with like a, as a trinket dish you know like for your jewelry or something like that or just as a styling piece for like shelf styling Anyway, it's gorgeous. I just could not leave it behind. Okay, these have just popped up. I think I've showed you these before in a Home Bargains video, but these were from Home Bargains. I think they were like one ninety nine each or two ninety nine each. They were really affordable. I picked up two. They've got this bamboo straw, bamboo lid, but the proper glass fluted drinking jars and I just thought they were just adorable so I had to have them and then someone's actually just commented just recently on that video actually and said just be careful with these jars because the bamboo can go moldy if you leave drinks inside of them so it's a really important thing to know actually at this point but if I go back to home bargains and they've still got these I'm gonna get some more because like I said they just look really really nice they'll look nice in the fridge we're like smoothies in and things like that but yeah I picked these up in particular because I thought they'd look really really good with like iced coffees in yeah hopefully we're gonna get some more nice weather and I'll be able to use these this has just popped out the bag <laughs> and I always pick Zoflora up when I'm out and about especially for the new kitchen so I've got my go-to which is Midnight Blooms this one's my favorite it's just one of them scents that I can use like all seasons and it still work because I'm a very seasonal person so like I couldn't use lemon zing at Christmas time do you know what I mean because it just it feels like summer anyway this is one that I can use all year through and I just love it because it smells like perfume and you know what I've actually got one of these open downstairs I'm using it at the moment I like to after dinner and I've cleaned up and given everything a wipe down I like to fill the sink with Zoflora and give everything another wipe down before I go to bed anyway I leave it in the sink overnight well, in this house, I thought maybe we're not going to smell the Zoflora in the house because we've opened up all the walls and it's got a bigger house to like the smell to get through. Anyway, the next morning we, I came down the stairs and you could smell it all the way through the house. It was just so good. 
Listen, it's all the little things that bring me the most joy, especially when we've just been living in a dust pit for so long. It's nice to, I don't know, just have some normality, like everything's coming together now and it just feels really good, like unboxing all this stuff now and taking it downstairs and putting it away and things like that, it just feels amazing. Anyway, the next thing I picked up was this little basket. Where did I pick this up from? Oh, B&M, six pounds for this little basket. And I loved it because it's got this little cutout detail. I've got a utility room to organize and I thought it might look really good down there. I love a basket. I do have a bit of an obsession with baskets. Like if I see a pretty basket, I've got to get it. I don't know what I'm gonna put in it. So I'm sure I will faff around with that and it'll go nicely somewhere in the house. But yeah, I love it. Um, six pounds. Now it was in the bathroom section, by the way, but like I said, you don't have to use it in the bathroom, do you? You can use these anywhere. You know, like if you've got any like little cubby holes or shelves, you can style up and I don't know. Anyway, we'll see where it ends up. The next thing I picked up was these placemats. There are a set of two and I picked up four. Now these were from, oh, these were from, um, TK Maxx Home Sense and they're just really thick and really good quality. So these were in the sale for £10, originally £12.99, I can spy there behind. Obviously not a massive saving, but um, I couldn't resist them. They're just gorgeous quality, like I said, really thick jute style placemats. I think they'll look absolutely stunning downstairs in the new kitchen. I can't wait to show you guys the new kitchen. Again, like the bedroom, it won't be like fully, fully finished with regards to floor and everything else, but um, it'll be in a state where it's usable, being used, and I can show it you because then we can film in there from day to day life. <laughs> it's hard hiding things from you guys. Okay, next up we've got this rattan tray. This was £12, I think, either 10 or £12, it's massive. This was from The Range and it's in this gorgeous like walnut colour seagrass, which I think is a really nice tone of wood, if I do say so myself. It's just a tray. They call it a Nordic tray, I think. And it's got the handles. And you might have just seen this in my bedroom reveal video. I did use it on my bed to style up um, some books and a candle and a little plant in there. I did, in fact, have this in mind for my center island in the kitchen. So I will be faffing around with it. You'll probably see it in multiple rooms around the house. Again, I've got a bit of an obsession with like baskets and trays and this kind of texture. I don't know why it just attracts me and I love it. Do you know what? The range has got some really, really good bits in at the moment. So I do plan to go back and do a shop with me and probably pick up some more bits because when I picked up this in store, there were so much in store that I could have picked up. I could have filled a trolley a trolley full and you know me it's not like me to go in one store and like like everything like I like the odd thing sometimes and I'm really good like at um resisting things like making sure it works and things like that but yeah the range had so much in there that I absolutely loved and we need to go back okay what else have we got in here oh these these were from B&M and I actually bought these when we did a shop with me at b and I actually did a little haul at the end of that video and I totally forgot to show you guys these. So you've not seen these before, but I did pick them up from that video. Uh, £2.50 each and they're the ribbed glass um, bottles. I have actually got a couple of these bottles, but they're not the ribbed, they're just plain. And they were from the pound shop. I think they were £2 each. And I just like these better because they're ribbed. I just like the ribbed glass for some reason. You guys know I love a tablescape. And obviously you can put water in a jug on the table like to serve. But these look really good with the water in, to be honest with you. Like I'm pouring from these bottles. So I really like these. I also love how they look in the fridge. Fridge styling, <laughs> that's the thing. I, I totally need to get alive, but that's just the way I am. I love it. I love it all. I could faff around with stuff like this all day long and not get bored. So yeah, £2.50 each. I picked two of them up from B&M. 
Next up, we've got some napkins. So these are cotton napkins. Each pack has two in, so I've got four all together. And it's this gorgeous, like, French stripe. I call it a French stripe. I'm not sure if it is a French stripe, but it reminds me, like, of the south of France for some reason. <laughs> like, I don't know why I'm like this. Anyway, it, it's very much summer stripe as well. I, I suppose you could use it in the autumn and make it work, but I did pick them up with summer in mind for outside use, maybe. But, I mean, I'll use them for all sorts of things. You know, I like to faff around with a tablescape. So, yeah, I can't remember how much these were. I think they were about £1.99 for two. And these were from Home Bargain. Next up, we have some wooden coat hangers, £3.50 for a pack of four. These were from B&M Bargains, and whether it's B&M Bargains, Dunnell, Matalan, wherever I go shopping, I always pick a packet of these wooden coat hangers up because I'm currently trying to swap out all my coat, plastic coat hangers four wooden ones these are really good because they're like moth repellent which is why I like the wood and I also just love how they look they look really traditional aren't they and yeah I'm currently swapping out mine and my husband's wardrobe so every time I go I pick up a pack and swap out the coat hangers nothing more to say about these really <laughs> okay this next item was quite pricey like normally I would go oh, I'm not paying that for that but with my obsession with baskets I couldn't leave it behind how nice is it again it's in this seagrass style walnut colored wood which I absolutely love and it's got this little wooden pole at the top and it was 18 pounds which I think is quite pricey for a basket. So it's marketed as a toilet roll holder. So yeah, you put all your toilet rolls in there. Obviously, I've still got receipts in there. You put all your toilet rolls inside and then you can hang one toilet roll over this loop because the actual handle comes out. Oh, maybe not that way. Oh, it comes out. You put your toilet roll on here and then you pop it back through and then you can pull the toilet roll from this pole at the top. And I just think it's really, really nice. So I've never seen anything like it. So £18, it was quite pricey, but I had to have it. The reason why I bought it was actually not for the bathroom either. I just thought it would make an absolutely stunning basket with logs inside. Because you know this renovation house has got basically a fireplace in every single room. And I want to make use of every single fireplace in this house. I love it. I absolutely love it. So this was from JISC just recently and I did do a shop with me video so you will see it during the shop with me but yeah I came home with this because I loved it. They also had like a little um, round basket with the lid on top which was really nice as well. Again from the bathroom section but you could use it for what you want. That was also £18.50. Okay, so I'm going to show you these two next items together because I did pick them up at the same time and they kind of go hand in hand. So these were from Matalan and they are the laundry jars. I also picked up this one here. So this one was seven, this big one was £7.50 and this little one was £7. I just love the shape of this one. I love a bamboo lid, you know that as well. And I do love a cork top and it's this bottle handle that I absolutely fell in love with and I thought these would look absolutely beautiful in the new utility room. I can't wait to show you that. I think it's coming up in this, this next vlog, you know, guys, on Sunday. So I totally bought into the aesthetic of the 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 stickers laundry service because i just think they look really good i'm not usually a fan of the stickers on the bottles i would prefer them plain normally but we'll see how we go if we don't like them eventually we can take the stickers off can't we but yeah i'm going to use it for like fabric conditioner and maybe some like i don't know what you call them laundry pods I just think they'll look so cute on the shelves in the utility. So Matalan had so many nice things like this when it comes to like 
utility rooms and like laundry rooms and things like that so many like lovely little jars and um i need to go back there because i think they're the best ones i've seen but do you know the, all the little brushes and stuff that you want in your utility room scrubbing brushes and things like that they have like wooden handled ones and that's what i'm looking for so i like to scour the shops and keep in mind where i saw them so i think i might nip back to matalan at some point and pick up some more laundry um not laundry utility room bits Okay, the next thing I picked up were these gorgeous gardening gloves from HomeSense, TK Maxx, and the Laura Ashley brand. And I just think they're absolutely gorgeous with the green leaves on them. So you guys know that I am totally looking forward to gardening. And I can't have a garden in this house just yet, commit to a garden in this house just yet, because we don't know if we're selling and moving on to the next renovation project after we finish this one. But I do want a herb garden in the kitchen and everything will make sense to you when you see the kitchen and utility because I'm kind of bringing the outside in when it comes to them spaces. So I do plan to pot some like kitchen herbs and I've also got a lot more plants in this house to fill the house. So I actually have been on the hunt for some really nice gardening gloves because whilst I've been going to the garden centres and things like that, I've been looking at all the gardening gloves thinking when I see a really nice pair, I'll pick them up. And I was like looking for a brown pair in particular. Well, that's what I had in mind. Anyway, I was doing a shop with me at TK Maxx Home Sense and I came across these and they're Laura Ashley. They're absolutely beautiful. They're like neutral. They've got some green on there as well. Absolutely stunning. They have them in all different sizes and colours and they were only $5.99. They're literally just perfect. Okay, another item from Home Sense is these Ralph Lauren tea towels and they're in this gorgeous green print. Yeah, there's not much to say about them. They're just tea towels. So these were $7.99 each and they're Ralph Lauren and I just love them. I just need some really nice, aesthetically pleasing tea towels that I can leave around on the kitchen island and they just look really, really nice. Again, I'm trying to bring the outside in a little bit more in this house, so it'll all make sense when we start styling stuff properly. But I couldn't resist these, they're absolutely beautiful. Also, it's worth pointing out that Home Sense, they do loads of like Ralph Lauren tableware and i mean tableware as in tea towels aprons tablecloths some really nice prints as well so if you're looking to like upgrade your tablescapes that's a really good way of doing it do these have labels on them not that it matters we don't want it showy showy but yeah they've got the ralph lauren like labels on them as well i think i've seen napkins as well in there so i just love it yeah i just love Home sense for that reason. They do some really good brands as well, don't they? Okay, next up, I picked these up from Jisk and we were just in the market for some new pillows and me and Hubby, we love a firm pillow. I have two pillows each on the bed that we actually use. One of them has to be like feathers, but that's not the one we actually sleep our heads on. I mean, why does it... It gets so important as you get older, doesn't it? Like bedding is so important to me. I need breathable fabrics. I need the right filling in the pillows. I need a firm pillow to sleep on. And these are really firm and they have a sale on. They've got some wonderful bedding in Jisk. So if you're in the market for some new bedding, quality bedding, and you don't want to be spending a lot because quality bedding is really, really expensive normally, then Jisk has got a summer sale on. And these pillows would were £30 each and we picked them up for £13.50 each. So I've got some new pillows and yeah, that's that really. They come in this nice little gorgeous print, but obviously I will be putting some pillow protectors on them and they have them in all different like kinds of firmness so to speak because everybody's different aren't they with what they like to sleep on i'm actually always looking for hotel style pillows because i always sleep really good in hotels like where do they get their stuff from 
I also picked up these little cleaning sponges. So this is a pack of two cleaning sponges and they're a pound from JISC. They have so much knickknacks in there for bathrooms and kitchens and it's really aesthetically pleasing. So these I thought would look really, really nice in the kitchen because at the moment I've got all them cheap bright coloured sponges that I've been using in the kitchen throughout the renovation because I didn't want to use anything nice. So it's time to now to start stocking up on the things I want in the utility room, the things that I can leave out and it still look really pretty. And that includes things like sponges because that's just what I'm like. So I don't think I'll ever change from being like that. But yeah, I love those. Then I've got these Firefly solar lights in this rattan design. Now I picked these up for the courtyard and the garden. So we've got a back garden. We've also got a courtyard as well. And I picked these up for the back garden because I was going to do a temporary, and I still might, a temporary garden budget makeover because, because now it's summer. We've been enjoying sitting outside, getting away from all the dust and the renovation. So I was going to temporarily do like a garden makeover. However, the weather in the last few weeks has took a turn and it's just not good enough anymore out there. So I don't know, like, is that it? Are we going to have some more good weather or is that it? <laughs> anyway, we still might do the garden makeover if we continue with some good weather in August. Fingers crossed. These are 10 string lights and Home Bargain has the best collection that I've seen of like garden festoon lights, lighting for your garden, just garden bits in general really. So if you're looking for garden stuff, try there because they're so affordable. I think these are like 9 99 or £10 or something like that for 10 So yeah, I picked up these ones because these were my favourite, but it was hard to choose. I kept picking ones up that I really liked and then I'd pick another packet up because I liked them better, but I just couldn't choose in the end. Anyway, we settled on these rattan ones because you know what I'm like for this like jute like style rope detail. <laughs> so this is a Hessian table runner and it's got this lace detail on the sides. Now, it's not from the wedding aisle, I don't think. Did I pick it up in the wedding aisle? Who knows, I could have done, but I just thought it'd look really nice in my house as well. So yeah, I picked this up and it was literally about three or four pounds. And it's just a table runner that you can put your plates on down the center of your table. Now we do have like a breakfast table, so it's a round table, but I do still like to use a table runner throughout the center of it. But now we've got an island and we'll be dressing up the island as well. You will see that in some near future videos. Yeah, I picked up this and I just thought it was really, really bloody pretty. That was from the range. Did I tell you that already? Yeah, it's from the range. Next up, we have some bamboo reusable straws, straws, <laughs> straws, and there's four in a pack as well as a cleaner. So this was, not sure how much I paid for these, but it must have been only a couple of pounds and they were from Home Bargains. Surely they wouldn't make straws out of bamboo if they were going to mould, like, would they? Anyway, they'll look nice in the drawer, won't they? <laughs> If you're still with me at this point, then I appreciate your time because this is a huge haul for me, isn't it? So, um, oh, I'm not going to pick these all up at once because they're bloody heavy. So let's pick up one at a time. Let's just get all the fluff out of it first before I show it you. So this is the Omax, Omacas, Omacase, Omacase collection from the range and I don't know if you can see I'm gonna shimmy this in the light for you can you see it's like this rustic um pasta bowls it's got gold rim around the edges but it's in this gorgeous cream color again it's like an irregular style shape massive pasta bowl I do love a pasta bowl I use them for salads as well though so they are well used and I just loved how they look. I'm layered up with the other plates that I've picked up. They're all like, they've all got their own tone going on and I love that layered look and they're all that they're all different, but we'll have a really good play around. Like I said, I've just got an obsession at the moment with really nice like dishes and serveware and things like that. And 
when you see the kitchen, it'll make sense to you and I'll explain all this a little bit more further in detail and you'll understand why I'm going for different ones all the time. So yeah, I picked up four of these. They were eight pounds each. These were from the range and they are microwave safe and dishwasher safe. So massive pasta bowls. I just love them. And then next, I've got a couple of pieces of furniture that I wanted to include in this haul. Now you will have just briefly seen these in the bedroom reveal video that went out. That was the last video that went up on Sunday. And I showed you them in that video because I actually bought them for the bedroom and I couldn't do the reveal without including them or else the bedroom would have looked empty. Anyway, the first item is a boucle poof. I'm actually sat on it right now, but I'm going to cut away to how it looks in real life. And it's this gorgeous boucle poof. It's got these wooden legs on. And do you know how much this were, guys? In the clearance sale at JISC, they do have like this outlet section clearance sale. So I think it's like, um, yeah, I think it's like X display stuff and it's like on sale. So this poof here was, I think, £75 originally and in the sale I picked it up for 40 quid. So it's absolutely stunning and it's a footstool but Ralphie uses it to get up on the windowsill and look at squirrels out the window and he also uses it to get onto the bed as well and I just think it just looks absolutely gorgeous in the house. And the final item I picked up was the boucle chair behind me. Is Ralphie on there? Ralphie's asleep on there right now, but I will cut away again and show you this in a little bit more detail. So this chair was £160 in the sale. It was down from 200 and I was looking on the website the other day, guys, and it's gone down in price again. Anyway, I am kicking myself because it's gone down in price again. I think it was 125 last time I looked on the website. So it's this gorgeous boucle wing back armchair with the wooden legs. And at the moment, I've just popped it in the bedroom. I was looking for a more of a traditional armchair for the bedroom. And I will be keeping my eye out, hopefully for an antique one in here. Because we've got so much... Um, so much room and space in this house to fill. This chair will probably be used in multiple rooms and faffed around with so much. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of this huge haul. So if you're still with me, I appreciate your time so much. Leave me a red love heart if you're still here at this point. <laughs> like I said, I'm gutted because we are waiting on a couple of other things, but I will show you them in the vlogs coming up. So make sure you're following along and subscribed for those. As usual, I will meet you guys down in the comments because I love to chat with you guys down there and I'm going to leave you alone now and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.